Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be showing you how to use chat GPT for a number of variety of different reasons, such as writing an email and how to do prompt engineering to help you to change the different writing styles. So it's not just coming out as the same dry and generic type of response. I'm going to be giving you different templates here from a website called learnprompting.org that helps with several different things like that, as well as digital marketing, keyword research. So this is really helpful if you're a content creator or a business owner. So there's actually different modules here and I'm going to start at the very top with writing an email and then I'm going to get into blogs. What if you can write a blog post in five seconds? You can't, but AI can significantly reduce the time it takes to write a blog post. And they also got a tab here for contracts. So I might do one or three in this video and then follow up with the next few in the next few videos. I actually have different prompts that I use for creating content, such as like writing a blog post. And this is actually my secret stash right here. So I need an SEO optimized article, 300 words. Let me delete this right. I've been meaning to delete this right here because I put article in here twice. So I need an SEO optimized article, 300 words with H1 and H2 editors. I'll normally put that in the chat GPT extension. I have like this extension to summarize the video. You just click on it and then it opens up in a new tab that's in chat GPT. And it basically gives it the entire transcript of the video. And then this is what I'll actually have in there. And then I need an email newsletter that leads people back to this video. I'm talking first person, I need 20 potential titles for this. So if you check my community tab and just scroll down a bit, you'll actually see this. This is my secret stash here. And then I got some other stuff, you know, just to kind of make things more efficient. So starting at the very top where we're writing an email, responding to an email, imagine that you receive a long email from your boss with a lot of information. You need to respond to the email, but you don't have time to read through the entire thing. You can plug the email into an AI and ask it to generate a summary of this in a list of action items. Dear Mario, I hope you're doing well. I'm writing to provide you with some updates, blah, 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 blah. This is an email from the boss. So he basically plugged this whole thing in there and then he put a prompt generate a summary of this in a list of action items summary john is requesting mario's assistance in addressing user interface issues with the software mario has been working on the issue involved difficulty assessing certain features and the ui not being intuitive enough mario's expertise in software development and familiarity with the software make him the ideal person to help with the task and he gives out a list of the action items here you can then use this summary to write a response email so the prompt, you put the summary in the prompt and then the action items, and then you say, write a response email from Mario using the above email summary. And then, dear John, thank you for reaching out to me about the user interface issue with the software I've been working on. I understand the point, blah, blah, blah. So this allows you to really just comb through stuff really fast and get stuff out. So you can just see how this really boosts your efficiency. Now, be sure to take a look at the checklist in the description for the ultimate AI checklist. I actually just created it recently. And you'll see it's this one right here. It says, download my free AI checklist for businesses and content creators, boost efficiency and creators. And I actually do have an automation one too. I, for some reason, I mix these both up because you can free up your time with both automation and artificial intelligence, but you're free to check this one out too in some of my automation videos. So cold emails are emails sent to people that you don't know. It's difficult to get a response from cold emails, so it can be helpful to send out a lot of personally customized emails. Let's see how you can do that with GPT-3. So. The prompt is company name Nightfall, my name is Max, write a cold outreach email to this founder named Pranay, pitching him our product, which is a Neo CRM. Make the email formal yet approachable. And then that's exactly what happened here. My name is Max and I'm the founder of Nightfall, blah, blah, blah. You understand you're managing customer relationships can be a challenge. Nightfall offers a wide range of features. They didn't even say why. It was Nightfall offers a range of features, including automated customer segmentation, blah, blah, blah. I look forward to hearing from you. This is neat, but we can do better. Let's add some more information to the prompt using unstructured information. Say you have a LinkedIn profile of the person you're sending the email to. You can add that information to the prompt to make that email more personalized. Let's use the founder of Strive's LinkedIn as an example. We'll copy a bunch of information from his profile and add it to the prompt. So he basically just copied a lot of different information, as you can see here from that person's <laughs> From, from that person's profile. And then at the bottom, it says, write a cold outreach email to this founder, pitching him our product, Nightfall, which is a Neo CRM. My name is Max, make the email formal, yet approachable, blah, 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 blah. And then with this additional information, creates a much more personalized email. This is extremely clever for cold outreach and marketing. So it's super useful that LLMs can cut through the clutter of all the information we copied from LinkedIn. This cold outreach process can also be automated at a larger scale by scraping LinkedIn for relevant information. 
Conclusion, LLMs can help you write emails. Make sure you read what they write before sending it. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. And in my next video, I'm going to cover blogs. We're going to just go down the list here and talk about how you can use the basics of using AI to help you write a blog. Now, you're free to check this out. I'll leave this in the description. And be sure to subscribe as I'm going to be covering this. So this one is pretty short. So I'm likely going to also cover the different writing styles and probably summarizing text, which is really good because it can help you, as you saw earlier with that email from the boss, take a large chunk of information, including that profile information from LinkedIn and just store through it real quick and, and become a lot more efficient. As you can see on the left-hand side here, there's a lot of different stuff in this module. So I'm gonna be covering all this stuff. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out the checklist in the description for automation and AI to help you boost up efficiency, free up time and increase engagement and subscribe to my channel. Take a look at the archives that I have on my website, jonathancoast.com, artificial intelligence and automation, as well as my playlist right here on my YouTube channel. I have almost 50 videos now on that subject. Take a look at the tools and the resources below, as well as the pinned comment by the affiliate marketing samurai. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.